Welcome to DigitalLifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have an unboxing and a quick look at the Netgear R6300 Wi-Fi router. It's 802.11ac, dual band gigabit, and it's supposed to have the extra high level performance uh, for Wi-Fi devices, uh, for future devices, because it's got the AC format, and uh, there's things like an app as well. So we're going to have a look at the, the the router. Uh, I'm going to do a comparison to my existing home router as well, and just have a look at some of the speeds on that. So we've got the router, the manual, Ethernet cable, power supply, and UK and European clubs. So let's have a look at the unit first. So here you can see the the router. We've got a USB on there, so you can work as a NAS. We've got two USB actually. Four Ethernet ports, um, or internet connection, and the power, and that's it really. Nice and simple. So I'm going to plug this into my router, try copying a file over the uh, existing wireless, and uh, then we'll use this and see the difference. I oh, will also have a quick look at the management app as well. Okay, there we have the, the unit uh, powered on now. Fairly subtle lighting on it. Um, so it took a while for these things to come they were kind of orange initially but now they're, they're all lit up. Uh, so I think we're uh, all set to go on this. So I think the first thing to do is to actually get onto it and have a look at the uh, wireless key settings and the security side of things. So here I have the everything set up. So uh, let's go and have a look for it. And there it is, the Netgear. So the first thing we're going to do is actually just put a couple of settings in, have a look at the settings uh, for it. And then we're going to try a speed test, we'll probably use my Surface to, to do the comparison. So we're going to join it. Um, it's going to need a network key, or it's so I can push the button on the router itself, which is the uh, auto configuration. Okay, so I'm going to try the uh, automatic configuration. So here we've got the, the option. So I'll press that. Okay, and then we're, we're on, so I'll share the connection with that. The browser's just opened and prompted me with the auto config settings, so it's um, Created, there is actually two access points. There's one running at 2.4 gigahertz and one running at 5 gigahertz, uh, with two different um, access point names, so presumably for different uh, device types. So I've just gone from my um, Nexus 7 here and looked for wirelesses, wireless networks, and I can see only the the one Netgear. Uh, 84 one there, not the, the 5G one, the 5 gigahertz one. So we're now uh, connected to the internet. So uh, I'm going to try now and uh, copy a file over and uh, we'll see how the speed test works. So here's my surface now. I'm connected to my, I've took the uh, the HP machine back onto the normal onto wide network, um, and then this is now connected to the wireless on that, which is my old um, D Link adapter. So I'm just going to copy this file over, and um, we can see the bit of the performance there. So we're running at 1.8, 1.7 uh, megabits per second as it copies the, the file over. So I like uh, in Windows uh, 8 and Windows RT how it how it shows a little graph. So you can see there the speed that we're getting. So I'm going to uh, leave that to finish. So you can see there that um, it's averaging about 1.7, 1.9. So this is the HP machine is plugged into the D-Link router uh, via Ethernet, and then I'm connected to the wireless. So now I'm going to change onto the standard network, the 2.4 gigahertz one. 
Okay, connected. Let's paste this file. Two point eight, five point seven, five point nine. Um, much faster. Six, six, six. Go up to six there. Much faster. Now, uh, that's just to make sure that that isn't just a fluke because we've cached this file or anything like that. Let's go for another file. Four, five. So definitely, you can see this performance improvement there. Now, but the one thing to say on my existing wireless network. I have got uh, my uh, phones, uh, two phones, and a, I think there's a laptop on there as well. But other than the none of them are currently active at the moment, so I don't think that makes too much difference. So let's try copying over the file again using the five gigahertz band. Uh, five. Let's see what we get. Five point three. So around the same. Say so there's not much in that difference between the two. Right, I've plugged a USB drive directly into the uh, into the router and I've just browsed through there the browser USB storage so I've got a file so I'm just going to see how um, that compares it on this network. About 2.7, 2.83 WSB. Let me cancel that now. But when we go into the uh, wireless settings so you see there we've got up to 217 on the 2.4 gigahertz band but on the 5 gigahertz band we've got to up to 3, 1300 so perhaps explaining why we can get the better performance on here uh, but not all devices support that so this would be pretty good if you had say your media streamers on one and your phones and maybe the kids xbox on the other to try and uh, broaden that sort of usage split the usage over two areas some other things we've got, you can see we can uh, we can see the network here. We've not got any. We've got parental control. We could have them there. We've got the ready share for USB. We could have a guest network. Um, let's have a look at that. So we can provide an, um, a guest network. We can include some um, security and uh, filtering options on there. A look at the ready share you can see we can uh, route that out effectively as as a NAS drive so the devices that are plugged into there which uh, so we can have as basic or we can go as a ready share device and it gives ready share uh, options on there and here you can see things like um, we can set the Username, passwords, and I can set up the IP addresses and DNS settings as well. So there's one other thing this does have is an iOS app. So I'm going to have a look at that. So now I've got my iPad here, and I've uh, connected through the Netgear Genie app, so I can uh, look. At the network, do things like network map. So you can see here there's my iPad, the router, the internet, and my surface. Um, so I can look at the wireless settings and, and change those. You can do things like as well um, some DLNA stuff. So uh, you can, I'm browsing there the folders that are on that uh, drive that I plugged in. Um, to the router as well, so you can access that way, which is quite handy from the iPad because you can't just access it over the, sort of the file share like you would in, say, in Windows or on a Mac. So there's the Netgear, the um, pretty fast uh, connection speed when using it through the uh, 802.11 AC. Um, Netgear says it's three times faster than N, so great for streaming uh, HD content. You've got gigabit wired ports on there. Uh, you've got simultaneous dual bands, so you can uh, you've got the two bands on there, so you can split out your network usage. There's DLNA support, the USB rapid share support, and rapid share printer support. You've got the apps, uh, things like parental control as well. So pretty impressive. Obviously better speed. So I'm going to do some more testing with it. Uh, links to prices and everything in the show notes. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.